Ever wonder if there are ants at the beach? Do ants take tropical beach vacation getaways like humans do? The answer will surprise you. This week, I had the opportunity to spend my Christmas on some secluded but tiny tropical islands. And my main goal was to find out what the ants on secluded beach islands were like, how they lived, or heck, find out if there even were ants on secluded beach islands at all. AC family, let's make a quick escape from the ongoing tales of our antiverse in my ant room in Manila, Philippines, and travel thousands of miles westward to a gorgeous tropical country called Maldives, tucked far away out in the Indian Ocean, and find out what beach ant colonies are like in this episode of the Ant Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Tired of nature channels not showing nature shows? Just watch this channel. Enjoy. The Republic of Maldives is a South Asian country composed of over 1,000 coral islands out in the Indian Ocean, situated in the Arabian Sea near the country of Sri Lanka. Its crystal clear waters, amazing wildlife, and luxurious beach resorts have made it a growing tourist spot for beach enthusiasts around the world. I knew nothing about the place before coming here, other than the fact that a few celebrities I follow online have vacationed here and posted some pretty neat photos of the place. But when I arrived, I was shocked to see not only how beautiful it was, but also how rich the Maldivian wildlife was, both in the sea and on land. Allegedly friendly reef sharks and some really interesting marine fish swam all around us, just outside our rooms. We interacted with wild stingrays, which I had no idea was a safe thing to do. Massive fruit bats flew from tree to tree, Huge solitary bees buzzed around, shorebirds and herons hung out at our pools, and super cute agamid lizards scurried about waiting for insects to pick off. And oh, the plant life. Man, that tropical beach plant life though. But with such a lush and thriving ecosystem on these secluded islands, I was sure there had to be ants here somewhere. So, I asked the locals about where I might be able to find ants and what type of ants existed in Maldives. Of course, if you're not an ant nerd like me, most ants might look the same. So the general consensus was that there were pretty much only three types of ants in Maldives. They were described as follows. The first type were described as being big and black, and that to me screamed Camponotis, i.e. carpenter ants. Ooh, Maldivian carpenter ants, super exciting. Let's hope we see some today. The second were described as some small red ones, that sounded like a fire ant species. Perhaps like our fire nation? We'll find out. And finally, some harmless black ones that come in swarms. And of course, that to me sounded like black crazy ants. To think our dark knights have a Maldivian counterpart? So cool. So according to local sources, there were these three ants and that was it. Now although Maldives was pretty geographically secluded and each island was super small, I still found it hard to accept that there were only three species of ants on these Maldivian islands. So it was time to find out. I booked some tours to go Maldives island hopping and broke away from my tour group to shoot some ants. By the way AC family, if you're excited about today's episode, please hit that like button and let me know. Alright, so wandering off the tourist path a little bit, I instantly came across this open sandy area with sparse vegetation and it was full of little pits. Ant holes. Check it out AC family, it looks like we found our quote unquote small red ants. But looking closer at them, you could tell right away that these red ants were not fire ants. These ants look different from our fire nation, but they were just as energetic. I loved watching them run about, constructing their holes and small ant hills. Have a look. Now one of the things you might notice about the ant hills of these ants is that they aren't really huge nor too conspicuous. I feel when you live on a beach where you don't have a whole lot of plant coverage, 
you don't want to make your fortress too obvious and announce to predators that, hey, this is where I live. Now I couldn't pin a genus on these girls to identify them until I spotted from the corner of my eye this. A super major! The super majors were super shy and weren't plentiful. Now these ants weren't our titans, Asian marauder ants, but were probably a smaller and similar species belonging to the genus Phaedoli. Red ant mystery solved. Let's move on. My friend who was ant hunting with me called me over saying, Hey, I found a huge black ant. Yes, perhaps it was our native Campanotus. When I finally saw it, I was shocked and filmed it with my eyes and mouth wide open the whole time. AC family, check it out and see if you can tell why. Do you see something funny about this big black ant? Well, AC family, this actually is not an ant. Believe it or not, this here is a spider. A jumping spider to be exact, probably belonging to the genus Mimarachne. This spider was an ant mimic. Don't believe me? That right there is its web den. Not only is its body shaped like that of an ant, but it also moves its front legs in the same way an ant moves its antennae. Isn't that just amazing, AC family? Now you might be asking, why would a spider want to mimic an ant? What evolutionary purpose? Well, there could be several reasons. First, many animals actually dislike or fear ants, having learned to stay away from them due to their bites or their foul taste. A predator may choose to eat this jumping spider before this apparent ant. Second, this spider may actually look like her favorite prey. And so looking like an ant may help her get close enough to pounce. Whatever it is, these ant mimicking spiders of which there are hundreds of described species are super cool, don't you think? Okay, so this wasn't our big black carpenter ant. Let's move on. Plus, we still needed to find some wild dark nights, Maldives chapter. Speaking of which, AC family want to hear something cool? Alright, so it made total sense that the dark nights, commonly known as black crazy ants, would be found here in Maldives. If you were ever wondering if ants take tropical beach vacation getaways, the answer is yes, they do. Only they end up staying at these tropical destinations, and black crazy ants happen to be the ultimate world vacationers. You see, at one point, these Maldivian islands had their native set of ant species, like the Fedoli ants, but as soon as the islands began to develop and later turn into a tourist destination, it opened its borders to immigrant ants. With human tourists come the need for the importation of supplies, including food items, building materials, decorative plants and trees, and pretty much everything and anything that people can't readily acquire on these tiny islands. During a chat with the general manager of the resort I was staying at, I was surprised to know that twice a week, huge barges of supplies are shipped into the island to stock the resort with everything they need. And of course, with these supplies can come some tiny ant vacationers traveling for free. All it takes is one pregnant queen ant or even whole colonies inhabiting any of the goods coming in for a colony of immigrant ants to establish themselves on a small island. They can even be hiding in something as simple as a garbage can on a boat. And lo and behold, near a school in one of the local communities, I saw some naturalized Maldivian citizens of dark nights. As was described to me by the locals, they moved in huge swarms with such vigor and power. Having whole armies of immigrant ants, like these black crazy ants, move into a new place can be problematic for the local ecosystem, especially for a small island, because they can displace, kill, or outcompete native ants, which already have stable relationships with the plants and animals around them. Imagine if these black crazy ants wipe out a native species of ant that a certain species of plant depends on to disperse its seeds or pollinate to bear fruit. 
Or what if these black crazy ants have a taste for creatures that native ants typically leave alone? Black crazy ants, though we love our dark nights, actually pose dangers to ecosystems, especially on small islands around the world, because of the fact that they are such avid world travelers. And so are these ants, ghost ants, Tapenoma melanocephalum. These tiny bundles of energy are called ghost ants because of their semi-transparent gasters, which make them look like floating heads. Ghost ants are also notorious world travelers, having established themselves in subtropical and tropical regions around the world. I spotted them forming a massive trail running up and down this tree and towards the beach. And here is exactly what I was talking about. AC family, look! It looks like these ghost ants have stolen the bounty of some larger Maldivian native ant and have formic acid sprayed it to immobilization. I watched as it kicked and struggled in pain as the ghost ants feasted on what was supposed to be a meal for the native ants colony. Scenes like this are heartbreaking, but it's part of the natural world where the survival of the fittest rule reigns supreme. So what are people doing now to try to stop ant tourism? Surely for islands like Maldives, human tourism is an important industry bringing the nation a steady amount of income. But how do we protect the native ecosystems from falling apart due to invasive tourist ants to these small islands like those of Maldives? So to deal with that, prior to landing in Maldives, I was surprised to see that the Maldivian government required all planes coming in to be sprayed with a pesticide. If you find it weird that they would do that, check out this huge spider that flew with me, sandwiched between two panes of glass making up my plane window. The flight staff told me they had watched that spider grow, which means beyond the mystery of how it got in there in the first place, it was actually feeding on a regular supply of insects. Fact is, insects can be anywhere and travel thousands of miles with people more often than one would think. Also. Thankfully, most countries are strict with what fauna enter and leave its borders. Our GAN project, which has supplied thousands of ant keepers with ants for their ant farms, also aims at reducing the black market trade of ant colonies as pets to private owners. To help stop the migration of foreign ants to new places, by connecting local ant keepers. But no other site spoke the message of the need for preservation of native ants and ecosystems as clearly and beautifully as this next scene you are about to see, AC family. At the base of one of the trees, near the ocean, I spotted something totally magical. It was a huge black ant. We found our native Campanotis ant. Wow, look at how gorgeous it was. But then I noticed something even cooler. It was attending to some small, tiny, pink creatures. And that's when I realized, AC family, that OMG, this carpenter ant was milking a mealybug. What we are witnessing here was a carpenter ant milking an ant cow. You see, the mealybugs feed from the juices within this tree root, and if you look carefully, you will see the ant gently stroking the mealybug with its antennae. This stroking eventually causes the mealybug to release a sweet secretion called honeydew, a byproduct which the ant drinks up cum gusto. I have never been able to film this beautiful act of symbiosis this close. You can almost see the small appendage of the mealybug running through the ant's mouth parts. Is that like an ant cow teat? I watched for a long time as the carpenter ant milked the mealybug, then left to visit other mealybug sites that it knew including this one, which was a mealybug with baby mealybug calves around her. Isn't this all just unbelievable? An ant farmer with her ant cows, AC family. In order to preserve these beautiful and important moments of nature, as has been the common message these days, we humans need to be more mindful of our activities as key players in the natural world. The final ants I saw as I left Maldives a few days ago were some native black ants, of which I didn't know the species. 
relocating a dead Maldivian native carpenter ant to an area not blocking one of their foraging trails. They were cleaning up. And this made me think, hey, if tiny ants can work together at cleaning up a mess that isn't theirs, why do we people have such problems working together to clean up our own? It's Ant Love Forever. Yes, AC family, thanks for watching another week of Ant Discovery. Hope you guys are enjoying your holidays. What types of ants have you guys seen while on vacation? Let me know in the comments. AC Inner Colony, I have left a hidden cookie for you here. If you would just like to watch a super cool video of ants and other creatures I shot in the wilderness and oceans of Maldives. And before we proceed to the AC question of the week, in case you haven't heard yet, our annual Christmas sale at AntsCanada.com is still in full effect, but there are only two days left. This year we have a great sale on our brand new Hybrid Nest 2.0 and our all you need Formica Hybrid Nest gear pack. So if you've always wanted to get into ant keeping, I have left links in the description box to these sale items so you can pick one up for yourself or someone you love. We ship worldwide, but this sale ends this weekend. So do place your order in and we also have gift cards in case you would like to get your special loved one an ant setup but aren't sure what they would like. I would love for you guys to keep ants with me and discover these amazing creatures that live in your neighborhood. All right, and now it's time for the AC question of the week. Last week we asked, which of our ant colonies was the first to receive their Christmas gift? Now this was a trick question because a lot of you answered the Fire Nation, which indeed was the first recipient of their Christmas gift in the video. But congratulations to Mobile Champion 21, who correctly answered the Golden Empire. It was mentioned in the video that the gold play button was considered the Golden Empire's early Christmas gift. Hence, they technically were the first. Congratulations, Mobile Champion 21. You just won a free ebook handbook from our shop. In this week's AC Question of the Week, we ask, name any of the two species of ants in this video that are not native to Maldives Islands. Leave your answer in the comment section and you could win a free ebook handbook from our shop. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love Forever.